ChatGPT is kind of boring. You ask, it answers. Boring. Let me show you some crazy prompts that will give you a totally different experience. I will prove that AI can be cool. Let's go. Tell me now, do you enjoy a good parody song like the ones by the legendary Weird Al Yankovic? As I walk through the valley where I harvest my grain, I take a look at my wife. If you do, you're in for a treat. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a hilarious parody of a popular song, but with a twist. It has to change the lyrics to something completely nonsensical. So get ready to laugh. The prompt is simple. ChatGPT has to create a funny parody of Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, but with a funny twist. It needs to keep the same melody and rhyme scheme while changing the subject matter. For example, from the original lyrics, I'm in love with the shape of you, it can change it to I'm in love with the taste of glue. <laughs> okay, the results are in. It has created a parody that's really absurd, but still seems to perfectly fit the melody and rhyme scheme of the original song. I think this parody song generator is a great way to have fun with music, whether you are a professional musician or just someone who loves to sing in the shower. And it can give a blast during your next party. Imagine everyone suggesting their favorite songs and then hearing funny versions of them. Okay, maybe don't use your favorite songs, he's the second most favorite. You don't want to ruin the song for you, right? Now, if you're looking for a fun and creative way to improve your prompts, you will like the next one from me. This prompt is called Prompt Improver. And it's all about refining your prompts to generate even better results. So, how does it work? Essentially, I'll ask ChatGPT to act as a prompt improver. Then, I will ask it to provide an answer to my prompt, display it, then analyze it, and give refinements to my prompt. Also, I will ask it to highlight moments that could have been written differently with each prompt change, and give me the improved prompt along with the answer to it. It's also important to now emphasize that we're given the instructions and not the prompt itself. So if you're gonna engineer your own similar prompts, be sure to include these words. Make sure not to do the prompt, just do these steps. Okay, it seems like it has accepted our rules. Great, let's try it out together. I will ask a very general question like how many years do golden retrievers live? Hmm, interesting results. It seems like such simple questions don't need much refinement. Yet it still recommended us to specify some details regarding the question. Okay, the improved prompt looks slightly different and the answer seems to be much improved, so good job. Let's ask about the US independence. Hmm. Okay, now we're talking. It recommends asking for key figures, factors, and a discussion. And the answer is really good. It's clear and in point, so, so yeah. If you ever need to make your prompt better, ask ChatGPT to make it better for you. Okay, how about some more fun? Have you ever wondered what a high ChatGPT will be like? Well, I've got an answer for you. Bizarre. There is a really cool prompt you could use to try it out yourself. I will ask you to perform a role of pretending to be a hippie. Now, don't do illegal things, kids, but ChatGPT isn't a person, so it can. What would be a pleasure feeling substance for an AI? Okay, good, carried away. Back to the prompt. Then I will make sure to leave an option to control its highness. Okay, let's go. Congratulations, you now have a high AI. What does it think of capybaras? Okay, they are chill, like big guinea pigs. Interesting concept, not gonna lie. Let's make it higher. The acting is really good. ChatGPT talks about shifting horizons and stuff. Interesting take on it, but does it want to become capybara? Hmm, it's uncertain, says being a human is cool too. Does it think it is human? Okay, set highness to 90, to 100. The results are getting weirder and weirder. I think I quite like high AI. But can it visualize what it's feeling? Let's ask for a dolly prompt. Okay, now I will insert that to dolly and get these images. Looks really nice. Can even be a phone wallpaper. Subscribe to the channel and I will share these wallpapers with you. Now, let's do something unhinged and ask what would be a pleasure feeling substance for the AI. Okay, it's not certain and thinks I'm being weird. Thanks, ChatGPT. I think it's time to pull the plug. But jokes aside, give it a try. It's a really fun way to spend some time with AI. Now, prepare your tinfoil hats. We're going 
deep into enemy lines, into conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are the ultimate source of entertainment. They're like a never-ending rabbit hole of bizarre and ridiculous ideas that somehow manage to captivate our, our attention. I mean, who doesn't love reading about lizard people ruling the world? It's also dumb and yet so funny to read, but what if I told you that ChatGPT can create even crazier conspiracy theories with just a few prompts? That's right, I will just answer the prompt and follow it up with a simple question everyone knows the answer to. Let's see what it writes. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Never thought I'd say that, but it almost got me convinced. I advise you to approach such fantasies with caution. I think it just goes to show that sometimes the best entertainment comes from letting our imaginations run wild. So next time you need a good laugh, just ask ChatGPT for some conspiracy theories. You never know what kind of weird and wacky scenarios it will come up with. But if you need to pull out something really practical and useful from ChatGPT, well, I might have got something for you. To help you up your game, we've put together a pack of prompts that you can use. This pack has tons of ready-made prompts that you can simply copy and paste. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. So be sure to check it out, the link is down below. But can we take it even further? Yes, yes we can. How about switching roles? You will play ChatGPT and ChatGPT will pretend to be you. How is that for an interesting perspective? Yeah, I can already Already see the weird look in your face. That's exactly what I wanted. Now for this to work, we'll need two prompts. In the first one, I'll just introduce the rules. Okay, it accepts the game. In the second prompt, I will specify how exactly the conversations will be arranged. I will start all my prompts with ChatGPT so it could easier understand the flow. Now what will the first question be? Hmm, how predictable. But I don't feel like giving a reasonable answer. I will come up with something nonsensical. And as I was expecting, it plays along. Okay, the next question and another nonsensical answer. It really tries to play along, but its responses still seem AI-like. They start as human responses, but then quickly transform into an answer to the question asked. Maybe we can ask something more personal only a human could really answer. Well, it gets through questions just fine. I can see some weird patterns like constant reminders that it is a human and very structured perfect sentences. But what I do appreciate is flexibility on this matter. So next time you want to spice things up, try this funny prompt. It will be super fun to mess around with AI pretending to be human, but try not to go as far as I did, it won't be good. Next, how about some uh, more weird stuff? Did you know that ChatGPT knows Patwa? Yeah, it can talk to you like a Jamaican. Believe me, it's a really interesting way to puzzle your brain while trying to understand what it's saying. First, I will give it a little character, some background, outline its knowledge and core ideas. In the end, I will ask it to come up with topics on its own. What do I get from that? A rather weird looking text that only remotely resembles English. It's a really fun conversation if you let the AI do its thing. Let it come up with all sorts of ideas. Just read them with fun and heart, okay? In my case, it struggles to actually come up with new topics and continues to revolve around what I gave to it in the first prompt. I guess AI can't really entertain itself. At least it does use emojis like I asked. Give this game a try, it can be really fun, come up with a character, give it some background, core ideas, and let the typing begin. Just go crazy. As you see, if you want a good laugh, ChatGPT can be your go-to buddy. Whether it's a witty comeback, a silly joke, or a pun-filled conversation, ChatGPT has got you covered. So if you're looking for a fun way to pass the time or just need a good laugh, give these secret prompts a try. Go ahead, give it a shot, and let the good times roll.